Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a Logic Pro 10 tip and trick tutorial video on ADSR. More specifically, we'll be looking at the Vintage Graphic EQ and its quote unquote air band that is kind of a hidden feature. So, the Vintage Graphic EQ, for those of you who don't know, is an emulation of the API 560. I have the Waves version pulled up because it looks like the original quite a bit, actually, and uh, it's kind of our reference point for what we'll be talking about in this video. So if you notice, there's these different frequency bands, right, on both of them. 31, 63, 125, let me turn this down, and we have all the way up to 16K. So right now, these are pretty much identical, uh, except for the drive knob and these sections over here. But the actual bands, the 10 bands, those are the same. Well, the Logic version gives you this tuning knob, and it will change the frequencies that you can actually control. So if we go up to positive 12, you'll see that the 10th one, the top one, the highest frequency is now 32K or 32,000 hertz, right? Which is crazy. And some of you might be being like thinking, well, what's the point of that? Well, some EQs, a lot of EQs actually go above 20,000 or 20K. Uh, you'd probably be surprised that FabFilter Pro Q2 goes above that. I think it starts at 30,000. Um, but for instance, Logic's channel channel EQ stops at 20, right? So it really just depends. There's a really popular software EQ called MAG, M-A-G, uh, and the MAG EQ has an air band. And a lot of producers and engineers use that on vocals, even sometimes on the actual track, or if it's on the actual track, they use it on a bus or an aux to bring out some harmonics. So you can use this on vocals, you can use this technique on synths that have high frequency content, hi-hats, and your whole mix. So Let's look at that now. I have, uh, let's turn this off. Here's a little demo. All right, so I have the graphic EQ on my first, uh, the first plugin here on my master. And a lot of this isn't doing stuff, by the way. Um, it's set to pretty much zero on these, and this is just limiting. This isn't doing anything. So. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at this, how it's going to brighten everything just by using this air band. So 32K, you'll notice my voice got a little bit a little bit brighter is one of the best ways to describe it. Now, there's 12,000 hertz here that we can't technically hear, but if I turn this off, you'll notice that my voice just isn't as bright. So let's try that in the whole mix. <laughs> definitely a subtle effect but sometimes these subtle things are what can take an element or a mix from you know 85 to 90 percent to you know the full 9500 percent that you want so let's take it down a little bit lower let's go to about 24k because that's not as high right <laughs> So that's pretty noticeable to me. Let's listen to it on the hi-hats. So this, is, this isn't going to be a long video, guys. I just wanted to point out that this feature is here. If you guys are working on vocals, especially rap vocals or pop, you know, EDM vocals, try this out. Send it to uh, maybe put it on a bus for your vocals and try even maybe boosting the drive a little bit and try out some of these frequency bands. Now, uh, another thing that you can do, you can get real creative with it if it's on a bus for vocals. I wish I had vocals in this track because I, I would show it to you, but let's just pretend that this acoustic guitar is our uh, vocals. Check this out. I'm going to make three instances of the graphic EQ. I'm going to set one of them to about, let's go to tuning band... Let's do six. I'm going to copy this. We're going to go to the next one. I'm going to paste that in there. And let's go to seven. Actually, let's go to eight. Yeah, yeah let's keep it eight. So it's at 25.4K, 25,000 hertz, a little bit higher. And on this one, let's paste it in. Let's go to about nine. So we're at 28. So now I'm going to boost these. So now I have these multiple bands of frequencies being, being affected and boosted well above... 20, right? We have 22, 25, and 28. So let's just say this was a vocal. This would be a really cool effect on a vocal, especially if it's recorded with a tube microphone. All right, might be way too much on certain sources, but if you have a really dense mix and you're trying to get it to stand out, try two or, you know, one, two, three of these maybe 
um, and then mess around with what frequencies you're, you're, you're kind of grabbing and the extent, right? So this one, we were about pretty high. We're about five or six decibels. Let's turn that down a little bit. Definitely a subtle effect, but pretty cool effect nonetheless. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time.